We're asked to find the exact value of the expression cosine of two times inverse sine of negative 12 thirteenths. The first thing to recognize here is that inverse sine of negative 12 thirteenths is equal to an angle theta where the input into the inverse sine function is the sine function value and the output, the angle theta, is in the closed interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. So again, this expression is telling us that sine theta is equal to negative 12 thirteenths. This also indicates we can write the original expression as cosine two theta. If we take a look at the double angle identities for cosine, notice how there is one that only involves sine theta, the second one, where cosine two a equals one minus two sine squared a. And therefore, cosine two theta is equal to one minus two times sine squared theta. So in previous examples, we had to model the angle theta on the coordinate plane, then complete the reference triangle to determine the trig function value of the double angle. In this case, there's no need to, because we already know that cosine theta is equal to negative 12 thirteenths. So performing the substitution, we have one minus two times sine squared theta is equal to the square root of negative 12 thirteenths, which gives us one minus two times the square root of negative 12 thirteenths is 144 one sixty ninths, which gives us one minus 288, 169ths, and of course one is equal to 169, 169ths. And 169 minus 288 is equal to negative 119, giving us negative 119, 169ths. So this would be a second way to find the exact value of the original expression. I hope you found this helpful.